Yep, that's the same thing I said. I mean, Will Smith ain't fooling nobody. He was looking at that man like he was a snack. Hey, Reggie, man. What's up, boys? Man, we live. Hey, man, we live. Hey, how y'all doing out there? I got some old crazy news for y'all. Allegedly, Will Smith snapped on LeVert, or whatever his name is, and let him know, you ain't about to be disrespecting me in front of my wife because she had an entanglement with August L. Cena. You probably had an entanglement with August L. Cena. Will Smith been catching hell from gay people his whole career. His first movie, he was a tutor fruity. Then after that, he was on the Will Smith show and ain't no telling what his relationship was like with Jazzy Jeff. It's a bunch of stuff we gonna get into, but allegedly, Will Smith addressed this woman or whatever, and no disrespect to this community, but I'm confused, y'all. So if I say something that might not sit well with you throughout the video, I don't mean no offense. But uh, matter of fact, we just gonna get into this. Lavert Cox takes accountability for entanglement comments made to Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith. But this the thing about it. You gonna have to either be a man or a female when you dealing with married couples. When you dealing with single people, you could be whatever it is you wanna be. But when you dealing with married people, grown people, you gonna have to pick one. You can't be joking around like one of the fellas, or you can't be gossiping like one of the females. Your best bet is just to shut the hell up. Oh my Cause Will Smith shouldn't have to come out and address her the way that he did. Now, a lot of people don't even know why Will Smith was mad in the first place. I'm about to play this for y'all so y'all can get an understanding what's going on. Cause this brother, or this whatever you want to call it, really disrespect. And I don't mean no disrespect, I'm just saying. I don't know how to address this person because either way, if I say male or female, they might get offended, you know. But this was dead wrong what Shim said to Will Smith. Look at this, y'all. Hold up. Reggie, play that. Here. We love you. Thank you for all the years of joy you've brought us. Thank you. We can't wait for more Red Table Talk and more, more entanglements. And <laughs> no, more. no more entanglements. No more entanglements. I'm disgusted, y'all. Because look, if you're going to be a female, you're going to have to take some of that bass out your damn boy. Will Smith looking at that sucker like he a snack. He like, damn, what you doing after the show? She look like Will Smith with a wig on. Oh my goodness. Shoot, that might be Will Smith long lost twin brother. They got the same mannerisms. Now. I love Will Smith. The Fresh Prince show, one of my most favorite shows in the whole world, man. But he been catching hell from the LBGT ever since he first started doing movies. Y'all remember his first movie. He got reporters disrespecting him on carpets when he with his wife. He got men running up on him with microphones kissing him all in the mouth. Look at this, y'all. Hold up. Reggie, cut that off. Look at this here. Now he know he liked it, Dad. And that love tap afterward, you ain't fooling nobody, Will. The way you was looking in that man's eyes, he figured, what the hell, I might as well go for it. Take the turn. What's the dream of my hug you? Can I hug you? Oh my God, a dream, how you gonna Hey, hey, man. Come on, man, what oh, your problem? Don't kiss him and then slap him, Will. We heard you say, mm -hmm. Y'all ain't hear that there? Look, I told y'all this gonna be zesty. Look at this here. Will kissed him first. He figured, hell, since we kissing, let's get the kissing then, nigga. Look at here. Oh, don't try to be tough now, sucker. Video. Shoot, ain't no telling what happened in the hotel later on that night. Why you kissed me on the car before, man? You know people was watching. Look, the phone line's open. Y'all gonna have to call in and let me know. Should Will Smith divorce Jada Pinkett? because she the reason why all this stuff happening. If she would have never called him out on national TV, he wouldn't, nobody would be asking him no questions about entanglement. But if your wife is the one that let everybody know that she was sleeping around, cheating around, August Alcina so damn pretty, he came out the mall and I dropped my milkshake. Oh my goodness. He looked like Jada Pinkett with a damn mustache on. Maybe he is her son or something, because that's what they were saying back in the day. 
Shit, he a runaway model, a runway. He was homeless. He was stripping for food. Will Smith know he wanted some of that entanglement as well. And the only way you're going to really be entangled is if it's three people involved. He ain't tell his side of the story, though. But that's just rumors that they talking about in Hollywood, man. And as far as Levert Cox, how you going to be a trans man in your last name, Cox? Look, we get the message already. You a super freak. Maybe Rick James, his uncle. But uh, let me, let me I'm going to hurry up and get this over with before I get in trouble because these people don't play around. Snatch that wig off and turn to the Incredible Hulk. Y'all got to see this because Will Smith been zesty. Hold on, y'all. Y'all got to see this here. Limpid pools of desire. Now show me the magic, Alex. Show me the magic. What the hell was that? I'm showing you the magic. He, no, I said. That's all he ever do. Act surprised when another man put his lips on him. That's the same way he acted when that reporter kissed his ass. Now you want to get mad. You begged that man to kiss you. Got close enough for that man. You shouldn't be that close to a man, Will. And then you get mad when they go in for the kisser. Show me the magic. What the hell was that? I'm showing you the Mm-hmm. This nigga ain't fooling nobody. Look, I was gonna show y'all this real nasty video of Will Smith. He running around there with Carlton with booty shorts on doing a Carlton dance. But ain't nobody calling in, man. So it is what it is. I'm about to wrap this thing up real quick. Cause what Will Smith said to this man is something that you shouldn't say to a woman. But this may not be a woman because it's really a man. And if it's really a man, then Will Smith had every right to snap. But if this is in fact a female, Will Smith was dead wrong, but he was justified because it's a possibility that it's a man. Oh man, I'm over here getting dizzy. Reggie, hand me that Pepto-Bismol, man. Look, y'all gotta see this from the beginning because they was having a good old conversation. Look at this here. Because we have the one and only Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith, girl. <laughs> It's a YouTuber that be sounding just like that. Y'all all be on his channel. I don't think y'all know that's really a man. I ought to call his ass out. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Nigga be like, girl! Shit. He be waking the roosters up. Zesty bastard. Oh my goodness. But if that's what y'all want to see, that's what y'all want to see. He got his hand on his hip. Looking like Bing Rames with a wig on, man. But hey, I guess he freaking that dress. Probably bench press 250. Look, y'all gonna have to call in before I get in trouble, man. Shit. Where y'all at? Cause it ain't so much nice stuff. I'm trying to be nice about the situation, man. But he's sitting up there. Grown as hell. Matter of fact, let me just play this. I don't know. We have to start with this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Smith. No, no, no. Girl, no, you look no. insanely amazing. I love that. I love the hair. What story are you telling us with this incredible ensemble tonight? Well, you know, it's vintage. Um, it's something I bought a while ago. Vintage. Would you they all confused. You got a man with hair. A lady with no hair. Will Smith looking like he about to jump out them damn clothes. He got that look on his face like, mm -hmm. hold on, y'all. Hello, hello, hello. Who this yep. is? Hello? Treat. Uh, hey, hey, we need you to cut that off in the background. There's nothing on in my background. Mm -hmm. Anyway, how you feeling? I'm feeling good. That's amazing. We over here talking about Will Smith allegedly snapping on this trans man for disrespecting him in front of his wife. And my question for you is, should Will Smith divorce Jada or should he just cheat on her? Because he got every right to cheat. And if he do, what's she going to say about it? She was out there entangled and everybody know about it. How you going to get mad at me for cheating when the whole world know about August Alcina? Or do you feel like he should divorce her? No, I think they should just keep doing what they've been doing. Mm -hmm. This is an open marriage. Mm. Okay. Well, what's the point even announcing they have an entanglement if they got an open marriage? He did seem really hurt at that red table talk in his eyes, but I do believe he likes the men. So you think Will Smith on the DL with it? Yeah, I do. I always have thought that. 
Well, either way, I mean, Jada Pink, she oh, very okay. masculine, so they make an incredible couple because she more like. That's what I'm screaming. Look at look at her. Yeah, she's masculine. She might be a little bitty one, but she's still one of them. Yeah, she from Baltimore, too. Jada Pink would whoop somebody's ass if they play with her the wrong way. You know what I'm saying? Have you ever had an entanglement before? <laughs> yeah. Do you mind telling us about your little entanglement? Which one do you want to know about? Oh, never mind. See, I didn't know you had a whole encyclopedia of entanglements and everything. And I got so much love for you, sister. Look, we're going to have an after party tonight. We're going to be talking about gender troll. Love you. Bye. Love you too, sister. You look, y'all need to come through to the after party, man. Because we're going to be talking about people that be trolling with their gender. First of all, don't nobody care about your sexuality. But some of y'all be over the top trying to get attention acting all stupid and that ain't even necessary that's what we're gonna be talking about y'all need to come through i left the link in the description box so make sure y'all come through and join in on the conversation but in the meantime we got to get back to this hill you know it's gareth pugh, gareth pugh. yes so um had it in the closet <laughs> and i was like you know what i think girl is ready for the sag awards so <laughs> pulled it out this is the kind of girl she is it's just ha it's in the closet <laughs> Just oh, up. Just, 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 let me just take this. That's what made Shim mad. Jada Pinkett, she shot the first shot. She asked her about her dress and she said it was in the closet. And that's when he got mad. Like I ain't in the closet. Hello, hello, hello. Who this is? The hell level. That's the reason why he was in his feelings. Matter of fact, let me play that back. Cause a lot of y'all missed that part. Jada shot the first shot. Hold up. Insanely amazing. I love the I love the hair. What story are you telling us with this incredible ensemble tonight? Well, you know, it's vintage. Um, it's something I bought a while ago. Vintage. Do you know it's Pugh. Gareth Pugh? Yes. So um, had it in the closet, <laughs> and I was like, you know what? I think girl is ready for the SAG Awards. So <laughs> pulled it out. This is the kind of girl she is. It's just it's in the closet. <laughs> Just hanging up, just respect. Just yeah, let me just it take this out. Match is beautiful. Yeah. And now, what is the story you're telling us, Mr. Smith, with this? I love the um, double-breasted vest. And my, yeah, you know, it's just a little something I threw together, you know. Shit, Will Smith was in the closet too. I think she was picking on both of them at the same time. Hello, hello, who this is? Hello, hey, Sean, charming diva. Hey, what's going on, sis? We need you to cut that off. Turn off. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. Over there giggling with them shoulders jumping up and down. Can you please cut that off? Oh, Lord have mercy. What's going on tonight, man? You always come up here with that, call up here with that bill on your breath. Oh, my God, man. You know what, sister? You over there got the giggles and everything. I know you a biggie, biggie, but that don't make everything funny. Look, I got a question for you, sister. Real talk. Get serious for five seconds. I got to ask this question, man. And you still over there giggling. Matter of fact, let me just go ahead and ask the question. Look, do you feel like Will Smith should divorce Jada or should he just he cheat sure on should. her? She a reptilian. She a what now? She a reptilian. I ain't gonna lie. She do be looking crazy in the movies. One day she got cat eyes. Next day she got puppy eyes. She, she mess around, had dog eyes. Like what's going on with her eyes, man? <laughs> She got the two for four at the plastic surgery. <laughs> Did you see her in the Matrix? They dressed her up. She looked like a, a goddamn old ass Coretta Scott King in that movie, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no wonder Will Smith be cheating. Look, in this little video clip, she talking about she took her dress out the closet and all this stuff. Will Smith all uncomfortable next to a dr trans man and everything. Maybe Will Smith got some secrets. He got some secrets, all right. Most definitely. Have you ever been with another female before? No. You laughing like you have. What's so funny? What you giggling for? You telling the truth? <laughs> I'm laughing. I have not. Look, usually when people be laughing, that mean they be lying. I haven't been with a girl. Do you find women attractive, though? Physically, yes, but not sexually. So you like looking at ass? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> she said, oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what, man? Ain't no, what the BBL stand for? Big booty lacking, though. I don't know what the hell that stand for. It sounds disgusting, though. Sounds like something you put on a hot dog or something. And I appreciate your phone call. And don't you be no stranger. And call back whenever you feel like it, man. All right, take care. Mm -hmm, goodbye. Yeah, she giggling all hard, man. I know she a freak. You whip out that Peter, she get to laughing. You gonna be in your feelings. Like, it ain't that small. The fuck's so funny. But anyway, Will Smith, he got demons. And he choking up. He was scared to talk to this man. Look at this, y'all. Hold up. And now, what is the story you're telling us, Mr. Smith, with this? I love the um, double-breasted vest. Am I, yeah, you know, it's just a little something I threw together. You know, I just a little something I threw together. Ow, ow. Will, look, Jada getting a kick out of this shit. Like, yeah, go ahead. Say something to the trans man, Will. Like, ooh, you zesty. She having the time of her life with her zesty husband. Like, shit, this is what I showed up for. To see little flashes of you come out the closet, nigga. Look at this here. I take a shower, and I wear what's on the bed when I get out. <laughs> so who put this on the bed, honey? Who put this on the bed? He has a very good stylist. Very good stylist, yeah, yeah, yeah for this. sure. Yeah. Absolutely. So we, we have to talk about the film. King Richard, you are so amazing in this. This film is so beautiful. I cried. I am a, the only sport I follow is tennis and I am a super fan of the- Hey, y'all gonna have to let me know if y'all gonna see that King Richard movie. Cause they said, they real father, he homeless. And Venus and Serena ain't trying to give him no money or nothing. So, and I love Will Smith movies, but sometimes when he trying to play another person, it just don't look right. The uh, Muhammad Ali movie, that was Will Smith as a boxer. Look, all his movies, he's still the Fresh Prince. I don't give a damn what role he in. He in the zombie movie, he the Fresh Prince killing zombies. He in the science fiction movie, he the Fresh Prince on the moon. He ain't all that versatile when it comes to the movie. So he ain't gonna fool nobody into believing that he Venus and Serena daddy. Plus they had a smuggle ass daddy and no disrespect. Maybe he from Australia or something like that. Let me type this in, King. Richard, matter of fact, what I'm doing all this for? It ain't like nobody calling in. I was going to show y'all this stuff, but ain't nobody calling in. It's all good. I appreciate y'all anyway. Make sure y'all do me a favor and uh, hit. Oh, look, I was about to haul ass. Hold on, y'all. Hello, hello. Who this is? This is Didi. What's going on, Didi? I know you over there looking right with a name like that. What did Didi stand for? Can you please let me know? Divine. Mm -hmm. Probably stand for some double D. Anyway, we over here talking about what's going on. Will Smith, this man's or female's man's disrespecting him in front of his wife on the red carpet. And my question for you is, should Will Smith divorce Jada or should he just cheat on her? You know what? They should have been divorced and opposed to this open marriage. They just should have divorced each other a long time ago mm -hmm. and they could do whatever they want to do. <laughs> But I'm saying, what's the point of getting a divorce? They going to mess around on whoever they get with next, so they might as well stay together and keep on doing their thing, you know? He probably well, was happy August was hitting that ass because he ain't want to do it. Like, shoot, August, you did me a favor. But you know what? They should have just all got together. So you, you like that freaky stuff? Mm-hmm. They all should have got together. They all just hop in the bed, have a big old sleepover. That's right. And invite some friends off. I don't That's think what they do anyway. I don't think August would have been ready for all that. You know oh, what I'm saying? Yeah. He already got he mental have. health. He would have been ready. Jada taught him well. Mm -hmm. She probably turned him out, but tickling his booty and everything. Look, <laughs> Will Smith supposed to be playing Venus and Serena daddy. He don't look like they daddy. He look like Will Smith with an afro and a, a nappy beard, man. <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> look, they real daddy. Look like he eat people. Will Smith don't look like that man. Look, Not they could have fooled me. They should have got uh, Don Cheadle or somebody to play his daddy. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been they better. Been, that would have been a better fit. Who yep. Yep. Or yep. Ving Rhames right. could have played their daddy. Because uh, Serena, she looked like Ving Rhames a little bit. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got a valid <laughs> point. I love it. Real tall sister. So what is it that you do for a living? Because you sound like you ain't got nothing in your house. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding? 
kidding me? It's what? hollow over there. Why sound like it's echoing over there? You got furniture? No, I actually got your own speaker. Mm-hmm. So we wonder, yeah. what is it that you do for a living? Not to be all up in your business, but I'm just interested. Office work. Office work. You work from home or you go to the office? Oh, no, I'm working from home. So you be in there all day, huh? Uh, yeah, until like it all. That chair just screaming. What you put on that chair? You sp- spray for some Febreze on that chair or something? <laughs> Look, my house has candles and everything. Shoot. Mm-hmm. When you walk in, everything smells fresh. That's beautiful, man. Divine. And people that be burning all them candles, something under there, man, check them corners, might be some dead rat. I ain't trying to be disrespectful. I'm just kind of freaked out. It's all hollow over there and everything. And I appreciate your phone call, sister. And I love you to death. And don't you be no stranger. Make sure you call back whenever you feel like real talk. Now, nah, mm-hmm. take care of you. Nah. Uh-huh. All right. Okay, beautiful. You too. All mm-hmm. right. Now I see why y'all don't want to call. Because I, I was real mean to that lady. But... She 90 something years old. What you give a damn about Will Smith for? He'd be over there paying them medical bills and things. I ain't right. But y'all gonna have to forgive me. But anyway, August Alcina, I know you probably watching this like, what the hell going on? He probably moved on with his life. And Willow, that was supposed to be his real girlfriend, but shit. Her mama took her man. Now she don't even want men no more. She figured if I bring a man home, mama ain't gonna do nothing but take him. So I might as well date women. That's some sad business, man. And Will Smith, he a real good brother. I can't say nothing bad about Will Smith. Hold up. Hello, hello, hello. Who this is? Hello? <laughs> hey, hey, uh, son, this is TT. What's going on? DD and TT. What did TT stand for? Tig old bitties. I take that as a okay. yes. But anyway, look, we over here talking about what's going on with Will Smith. He out here getting called out by trans people on the red carpet. He was so embarrassed. And my question for you is, should he divorce Jada or should he just cheat on her? <laughs> I think he should just stay with his wife. That's, I mean, that's pretty um, terrible if you have to divorce your wife. But yeah, just. Stay with her and work it out. Hold on. What's your gender? (laughs) This ain't Laverne Cox, is it? (laughs) No, this is T. This is T. This is T. What the T stand for? Tranny? (laughs) Hold on, man. I'm a little confused, man, because you over there laughing. You're hilarious. I mean, I'm sorry. No, it, no, it's 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 okay. No, I'm I'm a I'm a female, born female. Mm-hmm. So, how do you feel about people within that community? Do you think they have the right to be what they want to be, how they want to be it? Yeah, that's that's their that's their right to be whatever they want to be. Um, if they wake up feel like a man or if they wake up and feel like a woman, you know. Would you eat one of their food, though? If one of them trans men cooked you a breakfast, you going to eat that breakfast? I mean, I I, I eat from fast food places and they don't tell who's back there cooking. No, but if you knew he got the nails on, the wig on, and he back there cooking you some supper, you going to sit down (laughs) and eat that deal? Hello? <laughs> that would be discrimination. I don't I don't think I don't think that would be right if um uh, I you, discriminated. Hold on, sister. It, it was a simple It was a simple question. You going out your way not to answer that question. You gonna eat them grits or what? <laughs> um like I said, when you're at a fast food drive through you don't know. We ain't talking food. about fast food. I'm talking about RuPaul cooking you dinner, steak, eggs, potatoes, all that. He even made some sauce to go on top of it. You gonna eat that? If it's clean, uh, if he's a clean cook, he wash his hands and wash under his nails, of course. Yeah, he got the nails with the big hands, with some big ass heels on. He prancing around the kitchen, got flour all over the place. You, we really gonna sit down and eat that? 
If he washes his hands, of course. Them big hands. I'm talking about them big football playing hands. I don't care. It doesn't matter. As long as you got a clean cook, his, his nails are clean, his hands are clean, you know, he cleaned up after himself, of course. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, it's all good. And speaking of cooking, what's your specialty? What is something that you cook and everybody be like, oh, this is so delicious. What's your specialty? Um, my specialty is spaghetti, and it's black style. And what I mean by that is, you know, some nationalities, they make the noodles and they put the sauce on top. Well, I make it where I make the noodles and I put the ground beef in the sauce and I mix it all together and cook it in one pot. Yeah, no wonder you said black style. That ain't spaghetti. That's spaghetto. But shoot, I'll take me a bowl if you cook it up. You know what I'm saying? And I appreciate you so much, sister. You're one of the greatest women in the world. You be eating transgender food and everything, man. You got reversible plates and forks. You just don't care. But I got so much love for you. And don't you be no stranger. And make sure you call back whenever you feel like it. Real talk. Mm-hmm. Take care, baby. Thank you. Uh-huh. All right, bye. bye. Yeah. Shoot, I wouldn't eat her spaghetti. But, uh, that's Negro here nor there. Will Smith, if you listening, brother, people ain't never going to get over this entanglement. People ain't never going to get over your first movie. People ain't never going to get over the things that you've done throughout your career. Hold up. Grab this real quick. Hello, hello, hello. Who this is? Yeah, what's up, man? Can you hear me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so what well, well, I believe... Well, what I know is that she missed two pops so bad. Well, take them nine laters out your mouth, with... dog. You over there, call up here eating hey, candy. Look. Hey, look. Hey, look. She's going to go in hell with two pops, just along with Will Smith, because they all swingers. They made a covenant with God to stay faithful, and they not staying faithful. They they, uh, they are Walmart. Everybody going in and out of them. They're going to go in hell, and you're going to go in hell because you gospeling about them, too. So... Or y'all repent in the name of Jesus. Mm-hmm. Have a good day now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you're going to be the main one going to hell, sounding like that. There's so much damn sugar. I hope y'all don't catch no diabetes out there. Look, Will Smith been kissing brothers and people. Look at this here. Kissing on David Letterman all in the mouth. Every time he go up to that man's show, he got his legs crawled. He even reached over and kissed that man dead on his mouth. But, hey, you know... Everybody got demons and secrets, but this ain't even no secret no more. But still, I love Will Smith because he's a good brother regardless of how he living his life. And Jada Pinky, you dead wrong for putting Will Smith out there like that. Hello, hello, hello. Who this is? Hello? Yo, yo, this is Marcus, San Antonio, Texas. Can you hear me? Hey, what's going on, Marcus? How you feeling? Man, I'm feeling all right, Sean, man. I'm over here watching your stream. I love brother man let's get it but i appreciate that dog and will smith he been getting dragged through the mud people making fun of him but he's still sticking with his wife and my question for you is should he just divorce jada or should he just keep on cheating on her man look will smith you go ahead and just man cheat on that bald-headed woman you feel me i mean i ain't got no disrespect to the bald heads but he need to go ahead and slide up in Meghan Markle's DMs one time. You know what I'm saying? Get him a little bit of that booty. I don't know why he's playing. Hey, man, I'm pretty sure Will Smith did his thing behind the scenes, but he ain't never sit her down on national TV and say, look, I've been cheating. I had an entanglement with you. Who does stuff like that? That's the ultimate form of disrespect. I'm telling you, man. Now, yeah, you got Jade over here at the red table with her mama. You got Poe Willow Smith looking up to her. You know, she leading a bad example for her kids now. You know, they up there looking like the damn three musketeers, like the three piccolos or something. Yeah, man. And August Alcina, he put on that lip gloss. You don't know if he will old Jillo. He might be one of her kids, man. And she was laid up kissing that man, snickering, hugging, making love to that man, knowing he got mental health issues. He don't even know his ABC. She took advantage of that man. She should have took him and enrolled him into college or something like that. She's supposed to be his elder, you know? That's what I'm saying, you know. Look, that's like, you know, that's like my mama kissing on me or something, you know. Hey, I don't know how people Hold on, wait, about bro, where, where that come from, bro? Hold on. Is there something you want to tell us? Good. Huh? Oh, no. Your no, mama I'm did not, what now? No, I mean, hey, I'm not trying to be on no Kodak Black shit or nothing like that. I'm just, oh, excuse my language, Sean. Excuse mm-hmm, my language. Mm-hmm, so. mm-hmm. 
Yeah, yeah like that caught me and off guard. Now, now, you said that your mama did what now? No, I'm just saying, it's like my mama kissing on me, you know. He, Paul August Alcini, he like 20-something years old, you know. So it's like, man, come on now. Yeah, it's like kissing on your mama, man. Like, what, and what you said it August? again, dog. Uh, oh do you got a close relationship with your mama? Hey, I love my mama. Hey, look, down here in Texas, they ain't like, they ain't like in Alabama now. Don't get it twisted, but... Hey, I love my mama, you know, and it ain't no Kodak, it ain't no Kevin Gates kind of stuff. It ain't no Jim Jones now kissing your mama in your hot lips or anything like that, Sean. Mm -hmm. You live with your mama? No, I don't live with my mama. Mm -hmm. But I see her every now and then, you know? Every now and then? You make it seem like that's a booty call or something. Matter of fact, this is getting real strange. And I appreciate your phone call, dog. Don't be no stranger. Make sure you call back whenever you feel like oh, it, man. What the Ooh. hell going on? I see her every now and then. He slide over there on the late night tip. What'd it do, mama? Nothing, baby. I'm over here about to throw up. I ain't never mentioned nothing about nobody. My mama, mm, I can't even let them words come out my mouth. But I love my mama a little too much. But that's Negro here nor there. Jada Pink, is she real fine though? Y'all gotta give us some credit. To be 60 years old, she still got it going on. Regardless of the plastic surgery, I could see why men find her attractive because she feisty and everything. She speak her mind. I'm pretty sure she a down to earth person. But I respect Jada Pinkett because she honest. Because there's plenty of y'all out there having entanglements. But y'all ain't going to tell people on national TV. Hello, hello, who this is? Hello? Y'all gonna have to get it together when y'all call up here. But yeah, it's plenty of people out here cheating. They got significant others. They got a husband, a boyfriend, a regular friend. They ain't about to get on the news and tell everybody. So Jada, she got a lot of balls. But as far as Will Smith go, I think he ought to just keep on cheating on them. Cause it's gonna be cheaper to keep her. If he divorced her, he grossed way more money than she did in his career. So. Why would he split half his money to give to a D-list actor and he a B-list actor? You know what I'm saying? And as far as Levert Cox, hold up. Hello, hello, hello. Who this is? Hello? Hey, this is Adriana. Hey, this is Adriana. I just wanted to respond to that last caller talking about Alabama. Okay, you're going to have to do that in the chat because that ain't what we here talking about. Look, if you want to respond to somebody that called then respond to their ass in the little side chat over there. Ain't nobody care about what's going on, what you beefing with. Either you're going to answer the question or not, Nuckle. Oh, my goodness. Come on, Blaze. You got to be nice. I'm tired of being nice. Ain't nobody. Look, how many people up in here? The same four people calling up in here. We got four, four, four people in here, and I ain't got Jay-Z money. Oh, my goodness. How many people hit the like button, man? Y'all do me so dirty, and two people hit the like button, but you want me to be nice. Fuck that. I'm asking people for their social security numbers. I'm going to file one of y'all on my tax. But anyway, let's get back into this. People call up here. I want to confront the last caller. Need to call your baby daddy and ask him why he ain't come over there and see them damn kids. Why you worried about Will Smith when you gonna get up and wash your ass and clean your damn house? Oh my goodness. Anyway. Oh, damn. Hold on. Let me sip this real quick because I swear my blood pressure. Mm. Everybody want to call in and get a little two cent. But at the same time, ain't nobody hit that cash at. Dollar. <laughs> I feel like a broke ass pimp. But either way, you gotta do what you got to do. A dollar sign, Sean Blaze Dots. I really do appreciate y'all. Anyway, let's get back into this news. The Williams sisters. Hold on. Grab this real quick. Let's see who this is. Hello, hello, hello. Who this is? Hello? Uh, Sean. Hey, hey, who this is? Hey, this is JJ. We don't have <clears throat> DD. T, T, now we got JJ. I'm just waiting for BB and CC to call in. Maybe we could do a gospel album together. Right. Mm -hmm. Anyway, look, my question for you is, should Will Smith divorce Jada or should he just cheat on her? Because look, 
if he gonna be with her every day, it's gonna be somebody talking about the entanglement. So he might as well get tangled up his damn self. You know what I'm saying? What you think he should do? Divorce her or cheat on her? Uh, I think they should just keep doing what they've been doing. I think they are comfortable with each other. They got understanding, mm -hmm. which is very important. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's going through uh, autoimmune uh, alopecia uh, disorder. That's why she's bald headed. So, <clears throat> at least that's what Google <laughs> says. And so, um, I got people yeah, in my family he, I, named alopecia and quisha. And that's maybe why they bald headed. Yeah, well, you know, she needs some, and I think they have an understanding and, and know what love is about. Mm -hmm. So they uh, they might need to work it out. That's that's just my two cents, and um, I want to tell you I love your show. And I love you too, sister. Are you bald headed? No, sir, I'm not bald. I hear I like the perm on it, straighten it out because it didn't, it didn't went back. So I got new growth. Hold on, you said your perm grew out, and you got to straighten it back with a hot comb. Either or, but I don't use a hot comb, so I use a perm. So, is your hair long or is it short? You got burn patches on your head? No, sir. My sides are very strong and very, very day and week. I got I, all from 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 the forehead all the way back. It's all here. Oh, that's what it it's is. Full, and I make sure I keep it full. So, what type of perm do you use? Smart perm. That's what it's called. Cause I'm about to Google this right now. Cause uh, I'm still yeah. amazed that people still wearing perms. Let me put this in smart perm. So it's like an iPhone, but for perm. Smart perm. She got a smartphone, I mean, a guess, smart perm. Mm -hmm. You all about that future. <laughs> Hold on. I guess so, but it works. It don't it don't burn. It really don't burn my hair and it's uh it's not as it's chemical, but it's like a lighter chemical. A lighter so, I chemical. Mean, I still wanna Yeah, I still wanna go natural, but I haven't been able to do that. I don't know how to do cornrows. So you don't know how to do cornrows, but you know how to put a whole pack of germs in your head. I mean, with the, you know, the germs thing is, is I'm not going to go out in public and be feeling all uncomfortable how my hair is. Oh, this some that's, easy that's shit. Thing. Look, you ain't even got to know how to read to do this. That thing say one touch of relax system. Just put it on your head and it's going to straighten that thing all the way out. Simple. A small And perm. I'm not bald headed. I hate to say this. And yeah. I, don't, I don't mean no disrespect nobody. But this some nigga shit. A straight like that, it show we a smart perm. Lord have mercy. Look, I remember this back in the day. Hold on, what what it do? Three dollars and thirty eight cent. Now you know this some bullshit. This ain't nothing but a pack of noodles for your hair. Comb through, texturizer. Look, y'all stuck in the eighties, the seventies. People don't do this foolishness no more. You gonna have to let that thing grow out. Just go all natural. Ain't nothing smart about this perm. Next thing you know, you are gonna have an eye perm. But Patty LaBelle and what uh, Oprah Winfrey, they straighten their hair out. They look, natural. They got they, money. They I bet you they ain't got no smart perm. But it still look the, the same result? Look, it ain't the hey, same look. result. Because your hair smell like some new sneakers. They hair smell like something that been washed. And look, I ain't trying to be mean, sister, because you know I've been flipping today. I had a bad day, so if anybody get offended by some of the stuff I be saying, y'all just gotta understand, man. I had to eat eggs for dinner. I'm off the wall right now, and I know you're beautiful, and your perm is beautiful, and everything. But what you gonna do about that new growth? Uh, now that I don't, I mean, I'm just combing it. I put it in a ponytail, just like. Keep it straight out because if I wear it in a braid, it'll just be a puff with a little ponytail at the end of it. So that's why I do. I have to. That's why I have to perm it down because it ain't gonna stay down unless I like tighten it up and then scrunch it down or something. But yeah, it, that's that's the only problem with new growth. But my hair is beautiful. It's very beautiful. People that know me know. You know, I ain't lying. So what you gonna do when you got that relaxer in your head and the water not working? You gonna put your head in the toilet like Malcolm X? I mean, uh, I never had that problem, and that wouldn't, you know, I mean, uh, I always time it anyway. But the water works, and uh, that's okay. And I got a whole bunch of bottle of water uh, sitting up there, so I don't have to put it until I had a whole bunch of uh, containers of water. So that that's not a problem. So you would grab you a bottle of that Fiji and put it all in your head just to get that relax out? It's faucet water, so I'm not even wasting good water either, so... Mm -hmm. Look, you got to do what you got to do, sister. If the smart perm working for you, who am I to say that you shouldn't be using the smart perm? You know, you beautiful, you silky, you smooth and everything. I ain't even mad at it. But one thing for sure, I do appreciate your phone call. And you got to make sure you call Son, back. Yes, ma'am. Before you hang up, I want to know, are you having a good day yet? 
Man, look, ever since you called in, I'm having an amazing day. Maybe one day you'll let me run my fingers through your perm and we could really get to know each other because the last time you called in, I forgot to ask you, do you have a man? Who? I mean, well, you, oh, are you sure you, you talked to someone? What you mean by last time I called in? Yeah, um, it was one of them times you called in and you said you was leaving the emergency room because your perm was acting up and I forgot to ask you if you had a man. Oh, uh, no, I don't. But uh, I'm good, though. I'm single for, you know, good reasons. <clears throat> Hold on. Wait, wait a minute. What you mean you good, though? So you ain't trying to holler at your boy. I mean, you got options and you good, too. So that's why I had to be straight up. Look, you putting your perm in the microwave and sitting on your head for five minutes and I'm trying to holler and you got nerve to turn me down and you over there got ball patches all over your head. I ain't never been disrespected like this. I appreciate your phone call, but make sure you call back whenever you feel like it. Look, if you looking like that, you ain't got no business turning down no man. Got, I'm good though. Shit, no you ain't. Look like a burn victim. But anyway, we ain't come here to talk about that. Will Smith and Jada Pinkett they been entangled up shit with that smart perm she gonna be tangled up some more talking about she got new growth coming in that ain't new growth shit might be some pubic hairs coming out your scalp but anyway look i can't help but to keep on looking at these perms because people be ball ball and you don't even know they ball look at this here shit the back of her head look like somebody armpits Look, y'all gonna have to call in because I got a whole lot more news I want to share with y'all. But the only way I'm be able to do that is if y'all call in. Listen at this man with a wig on talk about Will Smith, y'all. We're talking how important it is and the conversations that they have started that we have not as a public and as a society have not. Damn, his voice so deep it sounds like surround sound. Hello, hello, hello. Who this is? Hello, this is Nell. How are you? Oh, Nell, I'm over here doing amazing. You called up here sounding all luscious. I know you had a beautiful day because your voice reflects your day because your voice is beautiful as well. Look, I got a question for you. Will Smith, he been getting picked on in the media. You got men with makeup on looking like they basketball superstars talking about him in front of his wife. And my question for you is, should Will divorce Jada or should he just keep on cheating on them? I think they should keep doing what they... I think both of them was cheating on each other throughout the whole marriage. Mm -hmm. So I think they should both just continue to do whatever they was doing. Because obviously it don't bother neither one of them. <clears throat> so they need to just go ahead and keep on cheating on one another. Because that's what it seemed like they've been doing from day one. And you know what tripped me out? It's plenty of people out here getting divorces. But the times we living in now... It don't make no sense to get a divorce because everything going up. People can't afford to live. Y'all might as well stick it out and make it work. Y'all took them vials. Shoot, get some Viagra. Do something, man, because ain't no point getting no divorce these days. Nope. It don't. And marriage is a is a is like an a like an a, a business agreement to me. Mm-hmm. And I think that that's what they really got going on. I don't think they really care about being in the bed with one another. I think they just really doing that to keep their money together, you know, in one spot. So. They and they look good fun. together. You know, they still look good together. And I don't know how I feel about it if they got a divorce. Like, damn, Will and Jada broke up. That would kind of break my heart a little bit, you know. Oh, yeah, that'll break everybody's heart. It'll break my heart, too. I'll be crushed if they broke up. You ever been married? No, sir. No, I haven't. Not yet. Damn. So ain't nobody take you off the market ever? Not yet. No, I don't think I want to, though. <laughs> Why not? Why, you not worthy? What's, what's going on? Yeah, I'm worthy, but I'm just still trying to live my life and, and do me and have fun. You've been doing that I your whole him. life. You, you ain't sick of that yet? I can't find him. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you know you got midgets and stuff out here getting married but you can't find and no disrespect to my little people out there look sis we need a small description of what you looking like over there help us understand why ain't nobody take you off the market yet <laughs> I, it's not the way that i look it's just i know i won't let them i won't let them i'm, I'm a bachelorette <laughs> kind of girl i like to live i like to have fun 
You said you exactly. Missy Elliott part two. I can't stand the rain. You do give me Missy vibes. You out there with them trash bags on. Still ain't take out the garbage. And I appreciate your phone call. And make sure you call back whenever you feel like a sister. That's some real talk. Mm-hmm. Take care. Yeah. He, 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 ha. He, 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 ha. I just can't find nobody. Get her a Timberland beat. She'll hook up with Genuine or something. Maybe they'll get married. But anyway... Like I said, this brother over here, face full of makeup, looking like LeBron James, got the nerve to talk about entanglements, man. A nappy ass wig. Get a comb, untangle that damn wig, man. Listen at this fool. And no disrespect to the LBGT community. I'm just saying. He look like my cousin on my daddy's side. Finished, right? I think for me, when I when I hear it, for me, for, first of all, entanglements was funny. I thought the word, the way in which Jada used entanglements in their conversation on Red Table Talk and the way Will said, Well, damn, bro, I wish my voice was that damn deep. Shit, you can get some bitches sounding like that. Shoot, he go up in the club, grab that microphone. Hello, ladies. Shit, I'll be looking like, who that? If Barry White came back. Shoot, call his ass Scary White. Look, y'all gonna have to call in, man, because I ain't trying to get in trouble with these people. They get to eat them now, ladies. Ain't no telling what they gonna do. Sh- shit. S- man, look, somebody call right now. Because it ain't that much nice stuff I can say about this man. No, he ain't got stockings on his damn hands. Look, he got stockings on his hands, y'all. Where his mom at? Shit, his daddy watching the video crying, got a whole box of napkins. Shit, his daddy put himself in jail. Sir, how did you get in here? Somebody need to lock his ass up. Look at him. In entanglement, he kind of laughed. And later on, even Jada made fun of the word entanglement. I think. Mm, 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 mm. He need to sing for the temptations. Hello, hello. Who this is? What's good, Sean? It's Juice, man. Juice is in the building. What it do, brother, man? How you feeling? What's poppin', G? I'm doing good, man. How you doing? Man, I'm over here chilling. Now, this female, male, schmale, this brother girl uh, said some real disrespectful stuff about Will Smith. And my question for you is, should Will Smith divorce Jada or should he just cheat on him? Well, I mean, that is a good question, man. I don't know. I don't know. It seems like they don't really know what they want out of their relationship. Mm -hmm. It seems like in the beginning, you know, they was both for each other. But, you know, Jada had Tupac. Will was like the opposite of Tupac. So it was really difficult for her to probably make that transition and not have a Tupac no more. And then having a dude that's completely different from him, but still kind of like him at the same time. It's tough, man. How the I hell mean, is Will Smith like situation. Tupac? What you talking about? Oh my nah, I'm saying they're different from each other. <clears throat> Jada and Tupac used to be together. And Will is like the opposite of Tupac. You know, they're like, they're very different dudes. Um, but as far as the relationship goes, I think that whole thing coming out, Really, on Jada, I think Will could have divorced her right there just on how she was acting. You know, if she's going to come out and put him on blast like that and spread out the family business, then, you know, all for a profit, too. That's kind of the worst part is that, you know, she's taking these tales from the home and selling them to Facebook for money and relevance. It's, just, it's, it's a sick business, man, but that's how it is. That's it. Even when you're married in the business, you know, unless you're Jay-Z and Beyonce, your business is going to be out in the street. Hold on, bro. I just had an epiphany, and I need everybody to listen at this, man. Ain't no way a man going to divorce a freak. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you don't think so? Hell no. <laughs> you ain't letting that go. Look, you got a chick you was dealing with back in the day. I kind of feel you, though. I kind of feel you. I yeah. Ain't, ain't nobody about to pass up on no freak. Like, shit, yeah, you dead wrong, but you do that thing. She nasty with it. So what, August L. Cena got a taste? Sometimes stuff be so good, you need to share a little bit, you know. Can't have it all I mean, to that's, yourself. that's a level of uh, comfortability that they would have to have within each other in their relationship. And who knows? Will might be completely okay with it, but just hurt that it got out in the public. I yeah. mean, Will did that movie, what was it, Six Degrees of Separation, where he had that weird little uh, homosexual scene. Mm-hmm. And that movie, you know what I'm saying? They say some actors take on roles like that because that's how they feel internally. So, 
you know, maybe he wasn't, maybe he was in there. He might have been in the scrum with Jada <laughs> and August Alcina and was just hurt that it all came to light. Yeah, you never know what highly weird, but I'm pretty sure Jada did something to him that he really, really liked because Will had plenty of choices when it came to marry somebody, but he decided to be with Jada. Oh, he still do. Yeah, he still got he, choices. He still does, man. Like, Will could step out right now on Jada. And, like, you know how Kanye West go out, get a chick that look just like Kim K. Mm -hmm. Will can do the same thing, get a chick that look like Jada, just younger. They floating around. Yeah, man, but I'm, I'm trying to tell you, just by looking at Jada Pinkett, I can only imagine how she be in the heat of the moment. She oh, probably do some shit you couldn't you know even imagine. She, Sean, you know she get down. You oh, know she get down, bro. Sure, I wouldn't let her go. Look, we just going to be together. <laughs> You know, I can't pass you up because all that's going to happen. He's going to have a flashback or something. Jada did. He's going to want her right. back anyway. So you might as well stay with him, man. Like she don't really she don't really get it done like you used to. So I got to stick with you kind of thing. Real talk, man. That's some real stuff. Are you involved with somebody, bro? Nah, nah, Sean. Remember, we had this conversation last week, bro. You asked me if I was with somebody. I was like, nah, man. I was just checking to see if something changed. So you still ain't got nobody out here. Still ain't got nobody, man. I told you, I'm taking my time, Sean. I'm taking my time, bro. Man, something ain't right about that, though. Because the last time you was calling up here talking about August Alcina got them lips. And then you called on this video talking about Will Smith and Jada Pink. Is this something you need to be trying uh, to share whoa, with the whoa, people? Whoa. I, ain't, I ain't ever talked that about That was you. Alcina, that was you. This is the second time, this is the second time we've been on the phone, Sean. You said something hey, about... Hey, let me, you, you remember last week I was quoting the, the NBA rapper and all the different songs you put yeah, up? Yeah, you said out. you like them NBA players too. Bro, you're going to have to find you somebody because this is getting out of hand. Every time I do a zesty video, you call up here. And I appreciate your phone tonight, call, bro. man. And don't you be no stranger. Make sure you call back whenever you feel like, oh, zesty bastard. Every time he see one of them gender benders on the screen, he want to call up talking about how he ain't got nobody. And got nerd to say Will Smith zesty, man. But anyway, listen at this here. Pink Entanglement was hilarious. So first of all, I thought it was funny. Maybe I have a twisted sense of humor. I thought the oh, word was funny. Oh, hell no. Did y'all hear this, fool? Maybe I had a twisted sense of humor. Oh, you got a twisted ass lifestyle. Was hilarious. So first of all, I thought it was funny. Maybe I have a twisted sense of humor. Okay, I let me get this man off my screen, y'all. Oh my goodness. Because I swear, I don't want no smoke with the LBGT community. Because... We all God's children, but but who is his mama? Look, if you're going to look like a girl, you're going to have to sound like a girl. That's the rules, man. They need to put some laws in action. Look, you could be whatever you want to be, but you got to sound the part as well. If you're going to have on a wig, <clears throat> at least, look, Michael Jackson did it. Look, that ain't none of my business. I can't be speaking on these people like that. Shout out to the LBG. But damn, that's kind of scary, man. Listen to that deal. I thought the word was funny. But for many of you and many of the people who commented, it seemed to be about, you seem to be suggesting that by using that word, we were bringing up some, I was attempting to bring up something not malicious. Um, mm -mm. I ain't going to be able to do it, man. Look, I appreciate y'all so much. Y'all gonna have to let me know how y'all feel about this in the comment section. Also, we got the after party jumping off. I need y'all to come through. I'm about to set that thing up right now. And we're gonna be talking about these gender trolls out here. And like I said, I ain't trying to offend nobody, but this video right here, I'm just gonna have to keep it real, you know? Cause half of y'all out there within that community, y'all just some troll trying to get a rise out of somebody, trying to get some attention. Who cares about what you do and all that stuff? Some of y'all be over the top just to make people mad. You know, that's what we're going to be talking about. Make sure y'all come through to the after party. I got so much love for y'all and I need y'all to do me a huge, huge favor, man. Make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Also hit that notification button, y'all, and hit that cash app too. Dollar sign Sean Blaze Docs. I sure appreciate it. Man, head over to the after party. I'm going to see y'all in a little bit. You know you want to. Might as well subscribe. You know you want to, you might as well subscribe. You know you want to, you might as well subscribe. You know you want to, you might as well subscribe. You know you want to, you might as well.
subscribe.